Hey guys, last time we have covered up the parameters of a cell based on which a battery is selected or used for our electric vehicles or any application. Let's see what are we gonna cover this time. We'll see the different type of lithium ion batteries, their technologies, their advantages, disadvantages and applications. We'll also see which battery chemistries are suitable for electric vehicles. So buckle up guys, let's go for a ride. First battery type is Lithium Nickel Cobalt Aluminium Oxide that is NCA. This battery has very good specific power and long lifespan. Its nominal voltage is 3.6 volt and it ranges from 3 volts to 4.2 volts. Its specific energy is 200 to 300 watt hour per kg. It can charge with 0.7C and fast charging is also possible with few cells. Its life cycle is 500 cycles. Well, if you see the application, Tesla Motors use these batteries. Next is the Lithium Nickel Magnet Cobalt, that is NMC. It is one of the most successful lithium ion battery technology and most of the EVs use this. It can deliver very high continuous discharge current which is very desirable for an electric vehicle. Its nominal voltage is 3.6 volts or 3.7 volts. Voltage ranges from 3 volts to 4.2 volts. Its specific energy is 150 to 220 watt hour per kg. It can charge up to 1C and charge rate higher than 1C might shorten the life of a battery but it is possible. Its life cycles are 1000 to 2000. These type of batteries are used in most of the EVs and the market share is also increasing. Next is the lithium titanate that is LTO. It can be charged very fast and it delivers a high discharge current of around 10C. The cycle count is said to be higher than that of regular lithium ion battery. Its nominal voltage is 2.4 volts and it ranges from 1.8 to 2.85 volts. Its specific energy is less that is 50 to 80 watt hour per kg. It can charge with 1C but the charging rate can go up to 5C. Its life cycles are around 3000 to 7000 cycles. These batteries are used by Mitsubishi and Honda and other OEMs. Next is a lithium magnet spinel that is LMO. It has lower internal resistance due to its 3D spinel structure. It has very good thermal stability as well. Its normal voltage is 3.7 volts. It ranges from 3 volts to 4.2 volts. Its specific energy is 100 to 150 watt hour per kg. The charging rate of this battery is 0.7C to 1C and this charging rate can go up to 3C. Life cycle of this battery is 300 to 700. But the newer batteries in this can give higher life cycle. So these batteries are actually getting matured and they are being used in many of the electric power trains. Next is lithium ion phosphate that is LFP. Due to its nanoscale phosphate cathode, it has low internal resistance. It has higher current rating and longer life cycle. Nominal voltage is 3.2 to 3.3 volts and its voltage ranges from 2.5 to 3.65 volts. The specific energy of this battery is 90 to 120 watt hour per kg. Its typical charging rate is 1C and it can discharge up to 25C. Life cycle of this battery is around 2000 cycles plus. Many of the two wheeler electric vehicles are using these batteries. So that's it for now. Next time we'll see which factors of battery play important role while we use them in an electric vehicle. 
will see the journey of a battery right from the manufacturing to disposal. So comment down below if you have any questions. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And finally, thanks for watching.